There are really times that I enjoy when no one's in here but me. I get to take in the the moment that has that still feels almost surreal that I'm doing art and I got my artwork into a gallery to see my stuff on walls of an establishment because people believe that it's good enough to be there. That in itself is incredible when you've been depressed and sad your entire life and you were your own burden in believing that you couldn't do something you enjoyed because you believed the thoughts or the opinions of people who don't even live your life but are just in it. Being an escapist wasn't just an improvement on me trying to be a better artist. It, it's improving my quality of life. Hi, I'm Monique LaRue. I'm a local artist here in Houston, Texas. Home to the Texans, the Rockets, the Astros, and 2.3 million people. But also, let's not forget about the great deal of art that's here in its historical museum district and in Houston Heights, where I found the John Ross Palmer Escapist Mentorship Program. Come with me as I take you on a little journey, a short one, about what it was like for me starting my art career with this program. Colors for me represented how I felt. I started trying to communicate, to create my language. How I create my art, it's, uh, it's definitely unique and different. I figured if it had chemical properties that made it do one thing, maybe I could play with those properties and get it to create another. Then what really kicks it up and makes it really cool is that I add fire to it. I don't paint with a paintbrush at all. I use a propane torch. So this process is what really makes my abstract work have that dramatic and defined textured look. The reactions I create are continuous as the curing process of the resin continues. I think what's obvious is that I loved helping people. Everything from the Navy, being a police officer, and a firefighter, which was my favorite career of them all. But often with all these careers, I would see a lot of bad days for people, and eventually it started to take an emotional toll on me. I had developed PTSD and depression from them. Even during these careers, I'd still go to art for an escape for a while. It was how I would cope with the sadness, but I would always wonder deep inside my heart, if it makes me so sad, why do I keep doing any of these things? It was then that I made a very hard life decision to pursue art without so many limitations with a simple Google search right here in Houston with John Ross Palmer and Ryan Lindsay. My name is John Ross Palmer. I've been a professional artist for 21 years. I have a program called the Escapist Mentorship Program, which is underwritten by our nonprofit Art Launch. The program is to help artists become full-time in their careers. My name is Ryan Lindsay. I uh, am an attorney. I resigned from practicing law about 10 years ago uh, to go into full-time business with John here at the gallery. My role is more of the business mentor and the nuts and bolts of uh, sales strategy, event planning, uh, logistics for your unveiling, social networking, paying your taxes. All of those, uh, making sure the bills are paid, uh, duties, that's what I help coach on. So they go through a jury process after they get their written application approved. So thank you back on Monique. Her story was very interesting because of her different life careers she's had. She's had so many careers in that short time already in her life. And I think what was interesting about that was I could see in that searching for fulfillment. So I thought, this is somebody that we need to look at further, and then she went to the next level in the application process. And I will not forget that they asked Monique who her role model was, and that she said that it was Prince. And I was stopped dead in my tracks by ex 
explaining that there was true, very diverse talent and that he did all of the writing, he played all of these instruments, and so in many respects was an absolute total package. And when you're applying to a, a artist mentorship program, that sort of realization or recognition that it takes a lot of talent on a lot of different fronts, I thought was the best answer. So I actually had to interview on my birthday, but the best part was actually the next day because I got the best gift ever. I got the email that I was accepted into the mentorship program and I was going to be an escapist. Also in the program, I was accepted with Lindsey Burke, Matthew Conway, and Cynthia Miller. At first, you go through an initiation of becoming escapist. You say the pledge and you meet your new support system and family of collectors and soon to be friends. You get your own studio space to work in and display your own artwork and you get a chance to get it out in front of real collectors and art enthusiasts. It's appropriately named the Chrysalis. John immediately pushes you outside of your comfort zone. You are truly learning how to make career moves and to help your career become the version of happiness that you want. I did large scale commissions. I met weekly with John and Ryan to stay on task. John and I even did a collaboration together, which was magical. And under the genius and inspiring direction of Ryan, I set out to do my first live fire painting on the compound of the chrysalis. This spring event for Monique provided an opportunity with a lot of planning. We could have her actually do her for fire painting here on site. It brought me a tremendous amount of pleasure to see the amount of people that were captivated. You know, when you see people grabbing for their phones really fast and everybody's holding it up, um, it's almost a magical moment that I was just so, pr so proud to get to see her accomplish that. I will never forget that day because it was just incredible to be alive and live in that moment. All right, you guys, I just want to say thank you to everyone who supports the Escapist Mentorship Program, um, especially John and Ryan. They have given me so much on a personal level. This year I conquered so many personal fears. Um, dreams really did become reality. I just had to be serious and put in the work. To all my friends and family and also collectors who have acquired my LaRue Originals, I also want to say a big thank you. I'm going to leave everyone with this message. Stop doing things you don't like and that don't make you happy. Don't be afraid to take a chance on you because you are your best bet. And if you haven't had a chance to become a LaRue original collector, uh.